Hello, I am going to solve the one numerical on the steam. This one that is from the question paper with you, March 2000, Feb March 2022, question number 1C. That problem is calculate the specific value and enthalpy of 5 kg of steam at 1.2 megapascal. And in that first one, when the steam is 12% wet and second case when the steam is superheated at 360 degrees Celsius. Here we have to use the steam tables to solve this numerical. To continuation with this, okay, we can take that problem. The given data is what are there, those we have to take. There is a mass M is given 5 kg. Pressure P is equal to 1.2 megapascal is given that is can be written as 1.2 into 10 raised to 6 pascal and that can be written as 12 into 10 raised to 5 pascal and 1 into 10 raised to 5 pascal is equal to 1 bar then 12 into 10 raised to 5 pascal can be written as 12 bar fresh. Then uh, the first case what is given the steam is 12 percent wet. Second case what is given the steam is superheated at T soup, T soup is equal to 360 degrees Celsius. Here for the superheated steam to calculate the enthalpy we need the specific heat of the superheated steam and that is not given in the numerical for that reason we have to assume here. Assume specific heat of superheated steam as 2.25 kJ per kg Kelvin. The appropriate value of the specific heat of the superheated steam is the 2.25 kJ per kg. If it is not given, you have to assume this value. What to find here? That is a specific value Vw and V sub we need to find out and enthalpy Hw and H sub need to find out. To find this, the first we have to find the properties of steam such as specific value, enthalpy and saturation temperature at 12 bar pressure using steam table. Here we have to use the steam table. This is the steam table which is pressure based. There is saturated water and steam pressure table this one. And that here the first column whatever is there it is given the pressure. And that pressure here 5.2 to 12.5 bar pressure it is there. And here only we are having the 12 bar pressure. And for that 12 bar pressure we need to find out that take the values that is the first column whatever is there it is a saturation temperature. 188 degrees Celsius. Next, the specific volume of the saturated steam that is a 0.16321 meter cube per kg and sensible heat HF is given as 798.4 and uh, latent heat HFG can be given as 1984.3 for the 12 bar pressure and those are written here. That is a VG 0.16 3 to 1 meter cube per kg, HF 798.4 kJ per kg, HFG 1984.3 kJ per kg, TS saturation temperature 188 degrees Celsius. By using this one, we will take the first case first, that is the when the steam is 12 percent wet. When the steam is 12 percent wet, then 88 percent it will be dry. Therefore, that can be written as 100 minus of 12, that is a 88 percent dry. That is given as the X is equal to 8.88 that is the dryness fraction is given as the 0.88 then this dryness fraction we, we are going to use to find out the specific volume as well as the enthalpy of the wet steam the specific volume of the wet steam can be given as Vw that is equal to specific uh, this dryness fraction multiplied with the specific volume of the dry steam and here this uh, dryness fraction is 0.88 and specific volume of the dry steam we have taken from the steam's table that is a 0.16321 and that is calculated as the Vw is equal to 0.1436 meter cube per kg. Enthalpy of wet steam can be given as sensible heat plus of dryness fraction multiplied with the latent heat. Then that values are substituted that is 798.4 plus of 0.88 multiplied with the 1984.3 the calculation of this gives the enthalpy of the wet steam is 2.44.584 kilojoule per kg and this is for the 1 kg of the steam and 
the 5 kg of the steam whatever the enthalpy whatever the heat is required for that one to reach the that uh, wet steam condition okay that can be multiplied with uh, its mass the hw can be given as for 5 kg 2346.15 multiplied with a 5 that will be 12722.92 kJ per kg and here we have to multiply the for the enthalpy only this mass whatever is given the specific volume always it will be per unit mass the whatever the value we are going to get that we have to take from it then if you take to the second case when the steam is superheated at 360 degrees celsius for that the specific volume we have to take first and then in that specific volume we know that the relationship between the specific volume and the te temperature superheated temperature and the saturation temperature this ratio we know that one that the v sub by v z is equal to t sub by t s the spe specific volume of the superheated steam specific volume of the dry steam and uh, superheated steam temperature and saturation temperature and this we can simplify for the uh, specific volume of the superheated steam as V sub is equal to Vg multiplied with T sub by Ts and these values we can substitute 0.163 uh, one multiplied with a 360 that is superheated temperature by that whatever saturation temperature 188 degrees Celsius from this we will get the specific volume of the superheated steam as 0.3125 meter cube per kg. Then enthalpy of superheated steam. The enthalpy of superheated steam is given as H sup is equal to HF plus of HFG plus of CPS T sup minus TS. This means the enthalpy is this is a sensible heat to raise the temperature from 0 degree Celsius to saturation temperature plus of this is latent heat convert the that saturation at uh, liquid at saturation saturation temperature to the vapor at that saturation temperature what amount of heat is required plus of above this dry saturation temperature what amount of heat is added that can be given as this equation that is a specific heat at constant pressure multiplied with the this temperature difference superheated temperature minus of the saturation temperature or we can give the directly hg that is enthalpy of the dry saturated steam plus of this uh, cps multiplied with the t sub minus of the ts difference okay then here we already we have taken the hf and hfg that we can substitute here 798.4 plus of 1984.3 plus of this whatever the assumed value of the specific heat of the superheated steam 2.25 uh, multiplied with the temperature difference between superheated steam temperature and the saturation temperature. This will calculate as a 3169.7 kJ per kg. This is for 1 kg and for 5 kg we will have the H sup as the 3169.7 multiplied with a 5 and that will have the 158.158485.5 kJ per kg. Uh, this is the whatever the two parts of the problems we have completed then uh, subscribe uh, my channel for watching the more such uh, numericals on the steam and others and uh, thank you for watching